In this video, we're going to be looking back at some of the greatest thrift store home decor finds that I have found to date so far. We're going to start with my top favorites and then move down from there. You're in for a treat and hopefully this is going to help inspire you to go look for those treasures at your local thrift stores. Okay, let's get started. I cannot believe what I just came across at Salvation Army. It's so here I am at Salvation Army making my way down the aisles as I normally do. And straight ahead in front of me is sitting this gorgeous cream colored vintage basconette. And I have always wanted one of these. I think they just look beautiful styled in homes with some plants inside of them some blankets, you name it. So coming across this on this particular thrifting day, I was absolutely thrilled. And here it is close up. It has wooden wheels. It is wicker. It's got the basket weave. And I did some looking online to find some comparisons. And here is what I found in the most similar style and form. And I paid $15 for mine. This one is going for around $40. But let me show you how I ended up styling this great thrift store find in my home. some thrifting and some maybe antique shopping today not sure but definitely do some thrifting today so are you guys ready to go with us <laughs> <laughs> this is my mom by the way she's usually my partner in crime when well, it comes yeah. to thrifting uh -huh. Well, as you can see here, we had a very successful day thrifting. I'll go ahead and link that video for you so you can go back and watch it. But next is really what I wanted to show you. And it's this amazing um, faux tree. I think it's a wisteria tree, possibly. Um, if not, let me know down in the comments. But for $25, I could not leave this gorgeous just so authentic looking tree at the thrift store i found this at goodwill and i just thought it was beautiful i have it in my bay windows here for springtime to add in that beautiful pop of spring pink into the house and i thought this would also be fun to use in a kid's playroom it would even make a really cool uh, photo prop if you were um, a photographer. So such a cool find. I looked up similar things to this online. And as you can see, the prices for these types of faux trees range quite a bit from $100 all the way up to $3,000. So there's really no way of telling how much this particular tree had cost originally but I think I got a good deal only paying $25 for it. Uh, what do you think? Is this something that you would have brought home from the thrift store? For my third greatest thrift store find to date are these vintage wooden folding chairs that I scored for only $8 for four of them. They were all in beautiful condition. They just needed a little bit of paint to help them tie in with the rest of my decor. I'm using the color Heirloom White by Rust-Oleum. It's my favorite kind of off-white creamy color that I use a lot in my home in a satin finish. We've had these for quite a few months now. We use them every single day. 
They're holding up great. We love them. Such a great find for only $8 for all four. I'll show you next how I originally had them styled and then how they look now a few months later. All right, this is very heavy, but uh, so also at that thrift store, they had this gorgeous oval mirror. It's wood, um, it's definitely older. It has like a metal back on it, which is interesting. Um, but I just thought that for, it was, by the way, this was $6, a $6 vintage mirror, um, awesome price. I don't love the silver. I don't really decorate with silver. It is really pretty, but I mean, how quick and easy it will be to just take some rub and buff and that will completely transform this mirror. So I'll have to figure out where I want to put it. And then, um, yeah, we'll see what we need to do to spruce it up a little bit to give it a little makeover, but it is a gorgeous mirror for $6. There's no way I was leaving there without a $6 mirror with a beautiful frame, so. I could not wait to transform this mirror and I also can't wait for you guys to see how amazing it turned out. I'm starting out with some rub and buff here and I'm using the ebony color and then also a copper color. I'm mixing those two together, but I'm doing a ratio of a little bit more of the copper to the ebony, probably twice as much copper as the ebony and um, once I finished this I realized I probably could have just gone with the copper and that would have looked still just as beautiful but I am using a brush to really work that rub and buff down into all of the details Now I will say that this did take quite a bit of product doing it this way, but I really wanted to use the rub and buff versus an acrylic paint or a spray paint because I really liked the finish that the rub and buff left. It was matte, but yet it still had a little bit of a shimmer to it. So I think it just added to the antiqued quality of the finish that I was going for for this mirror. I also think that this mirror probably had some type of a golden bronzy finish to begin with and it looks like somebody spray painted it a silver color. So I was kind of returning it back to its original beauty. And if you're new to using rub and buff, a tip is to try and not get it on any surface you don't want it on because it is an oil based and it is a little bit hard to remove. So that's why I'm using this piece of paper here to kind of block it from getting too much of it onto the mirror itself. Here is a close up of what that first layer looked like. Um, as you can see, it is matte, but it still has a shimmer to it. So I think that's gonna be a beautiful base for our next step. Now you see me applying the final finishing touch, which is some gold leaf rub and buff, and I'm doing a dry brushing effect and just really gently 
I'm wisping that all over the whole frame, trying to only hit the high points of the design on the frame. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to take my finger and use a little bit of that same gold leaf rub and buff and just press that and buff it onto the higher details to really make them pop. I know this dirty shelf sitting on my table doesn't look like much, but let me tell you, I have loved this thing <laughs> for so many months now. It has just served me so well as a decor piece in our home. I remember just finding it one day, a quick pop into Salvation Army, and there it was. It was $4.00. At the time, I did not know where I was going to put it, but it was a solid wood mantle shelf, and it has been painted a couple of times. I will show you kind of some of the different ways I've styled it over the last several months, but it's been such a great thrifted find, definitely one of my top favorites. are enjoying this compilation so far of some of my all-time favorite thrift store home decor finds. We aren't done yet. We still have a few more to get through. I think you're going to enjoy seeing what else I found that ranks high up on my list of favorite things that I've ever thrifted. But if you would like to, I'd love for you to subscribe right now. Stick around so that you don't miss future videos and also go visit me on Instagram at Old Maple Home. Next up, we have this enormous glass cloche that I found for $20 at a thrift store in northern Michigan. I had never come across a cloche like this before out thrifting, so needless to say, of course, I grabbed it and brought it home and I have used it in so many different ways. I'll show you how I have had it styled. spotted this ornate gold frame at Salvation Army. Of course, I was very intrigued. And then the print inside was definitely different. Um, as you can see, it's like a dead pheasants a harvest scene. The colors are absolutely gorgeous though. So really the content of the print didn't throw me off too much. My dad was a hunter. So anyway, this was a little bit of a heftier price tag than I normally pay. It was $30, but even just for the frame alone, I thought it was worth it. I just think it's so gorgeous, and here's how I'm using it in my home.
My mom and I took a trip down to Hudsonville, Michigan to check out Liz Marie Galvin's The Found Cottage and that was such a neat experience. Her shop is absolutely gorgeous, just packed full of one-of-a-kind unique treasures at every turn. Definitely go check out that full video after you're done watching this one. I'll have it all linked for you down below. And since we were in a different town away from home, we of course had to check out the local thrift stores in the area and boy did we make out pretty well. I found some of my favorite thrift store home decor finds here. Can you believe I found two vintage Windsor style back chairs for only $10 a piece? When I saw these, it was a split second that I grabbed that tag off the back and knew they were coming home with me. They were exactly what I had been looking for at either end of my dining room table and the color is perfect. Like I said, the style is just gorgeous. I love them so much. Definitely one of my top favorite thrifted finds ever. Here is an amazing thrifted piece I don't think I ever shared with you guys. Look at this gorgeous antique ironstone bowl with those scalloped edges. I found this at Salvation Army and it was $3. I could not believe it. It's just beautiful. It has the best staining and crazing on it. Here is uh, a comparable piece and look, it sold for $175. Here's an item I found recently, actually, and it is this double-sided, really nicely made couch cover. I thought the colors in it were just beautiful. I love that the other side had more of a plaid look to it, and I just think it's fun to be able to just throw it over like some of my set tees, or even to use it as a throw or a tablecloth, and I think they only had $3 on this. Such a great find at the thrift store. Do you guys remember in one of my most recent videos, I shared this lamp that I had found after a long stint of not finding anything good at the thrift store for many, many weeks. I was so happy to come across this because I had just been thinking to myself how I wanted to find a cute little lamp to put on my countertops in my kitchen and there she was sitting there waiting for me. It was meant to be. So I think this is going to be the last item I share with you today, but let me know what your favorite thing was amongst all of these amazing thrift store finds. And also go ahead and share with us what your best find has been so far as a thrifter. I would love to hear about it. And also subscribe. I want you to be here. There's more to come. Go um, visit me on Instagram at Old Maple Home. Give me a follow over there and we will see you in the next video.